me that is just disgusting. Um, and the second dessert, there's three desserts and like two savory things. So the second dessert, have another bite of it because it's so goddamn good. Is this is this bar called Polis? And it's like a chocolatey um, wafer. There's 11 layers of wafer in here. 11. They took it to 11. Uh, with, uh, yeah, so it's a, a chocolatey, dark chocolate. Already off to a great start. Um, wafer bar with caramel. I don't know if you guys can hear the crunch, but pretty dang good. Trifle. Oh, I need to give you 15, Amy. I'll give you 15 right now, actually. Um, try full British layer desserts of whipped cream, fruit, and angel. Oh, no. I don't like whipped cream. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I really I don't. Whipped cream? I get if you're making it from scratch, but like, oh, I don't know, man. What's that? Um, yeah, uh, whipped cream, not a big fan. Seven, eight, it's the, uh, nine, it's the, uh, uh, the like, it's the, it's the airiness to it. It's the like, again, I'm all about textures in foods. I love it. I want more of it. There needs to be texture all of the time. Um, and, and it matters. And, in a, and even in a dessert, it matters. When you put whipped cream, okay, fruit and angel food cake together, like cake already should not be hard, you know. This 14? I'll do one more. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Um, cake, right, is already a soft texture. So with fruit and whipped cream, you're just putting like pillows on top of like you're you're putting a a, a like like a a pillow on top of a down feather pillow on top of like, I don't know, whatever the fucking next softest pillow is. But that's, that's, it's, it's, it's just a dessert of pillows. That's all you're doing. It's not good. It's not good to me. Never had whipped cream last year. Okay, bet. Bet. Yeah, Hunter. Whipped cream and sour cream. Fruit cake and cake in five liters. No, no. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna ban. I might ban the word whipped cream. Not even lying. Sour cream, I can do. Like, I, I'll put sour cream. I, I put sour cream um, in a sauce that I made for the venison. Ugh. Kiwis, yes. Are, yeah, kiwis are kind of firm, but if you're like slicing up kiwi, those are little mushy poos. Those aren't hard, guys. They're mushy poop. So anyway, had a dessert, dessert, had a savory. Now it's time for these little weirdo uh, bread chips. These guys, they're like garlic. It's like garlic rye bread chips. Don't know, but I mean, this is probably the the most textured uh, uh, snack. For sure. Okay. There's not anything. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's either a kick of garlic or a kick of salt. My goodness. Okay. Time for a riddle. This Yum's package is a reference to Ukraine's most popular food found on bakery shelves in iconic brown bags. You know what it is. Come roll, please. It's bread. Ukraine is one of the largest grain exporters in the world. The country didn't get the nickname bread basket for nothing. Secret behind the local bread bounty. What or what's the secret? Fucking 
Hey, Jesus. I have this copy. This copy is killing me. This copy is killing me. I'm not going to like it, Amy. And I, you know what? I'm going to take, I want to know what's the thing that you don't like. And I'm going to challenge you to that. How about that? How about that? Let's do that. Let's fucking make the things that we both don't like for each other. And let's do that. This goddamn copy. Okay. Super fertile black soil, which is produced. Okay. The secret to their, however fucking great their bread is. Um, pizza's there. Woo! Go eat that. Oh, wait. You didn't tell me what type of pizza. I want to know. Um, fertile black soil, blah, 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 blah. Produce over 82 million tons of grain. By 19 alone, the grain is literally stitched. Wow, hold on. Go back. Their fertile soil, the, the, the soil in Ukraine is so fertile, it produced over 82 million tons of grain in 2019 alone. Got it. That is... Uh, buried in this fucking stupid, dumb copy. Um, I could say other words, but I won't. Um, you don't like any, I don't like anything instead, insist, wait, instead of consistency? On, oh yeah, custard, oh yeah, pudding, yeah, yeah, yeah. Italian sauce, oh with pepperoni eggs. Um, grain is literally stitched. Okay, so 80, 82 million tons of grain. 2019. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of bread. Uh, so grain is literally stitched into Ukrainian culture. The country's yellow and blue flag symbolizes golden fields. Oh, wow. I didn't know this. Um, under a clear sky. Um, did you guess it correct? Did you guess it correctly? No. Um, because the copy is written stupid. This is not, okay, by the way, this is not how you write a question. The secret behind the local bread bounty? Question mark? Not, no, 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 no. Not how you write a question. Bad grammar. Either way, reward yourself with one of these garlicky, finger looking good ride chips and get ready for tons more delicious fun and grains on our spectacular Ukrainian adventure. All right. Yeah, these chips I like. The savories? Savories are dope. Is that too much of a crunch? I don't want it to be like too loud in your ear. Because I know that's like weird. These are really garlicky. It's either the garlic or the salt. How much? Okay. I need to know how much uh, sodium. Nope, it's definitely the salt. There is in one bag of these chips. Um, there's about 20% of sodium in here. Wow, 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 wow. That's a lot. Of your, like, daily serving. That is a lot. It's the salt. <laughs> what, pudding? <laughs> I'm gonna make you eat pudding. Pudding is like, there's nothing to pudding. There's really nothing. Hmm, wait. What about jello? Jello? Is interest okay? Jello and I have interesting history. It really wasn't until like, I mean, obviously college that I was kind of like, okay, I guess I'll take this Jello shot. If everyone is doing it, I guess I'll do it. Not that bad. Not that with or without alcohol. Not that bad. Okay. Bread chips? I don't think they're wasabis, but um, they're 
good. Okay, they have the most texture. Um, crunchy texture, love it. And they're pretty, it's, it sounds like they're pretty easy to make. All they do is slice bread and then they put it in um, some, they fry the bread in oil. And they just sprinkle like garlic powder over them. Um, not really rocket science, uh, but it tastes pretty good. Pretty, pretty. Uh, cool. Next and last but not least, whoop, uh, this sweetened condensed milk cream cake. Okay, so sometimes super sweet things can come out of really dark times. This yum is proof. After World War II, Ukraine faced food shortages that forced folks to get creative in the kitchen, especially for dessert. This is where sweetened condensed milk or gushyaka. Gush. Does anyone in chat speak Ukrainian? Um, came in handy. I'll have to look that up later because I want to know if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, locals used it to stick together bits of leftover baked goods, um, making simple and sweet no bake cakes. Fortunately, Ukraine has recovered since post World War II. Uh, food shortages, but can sweet and condensed milk cakes like this decadent variety remain ever as popular. All right, so it's a uh, golden key. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, sorry. The, the <laughs> this is the packaging right side up, but I unfortunately to read the English, I have to turn it upside down. Um, it's just a golden key mini cakes um, with condensed milk and so milk cream rather. Um, it's in the center, Avi. It's like in the center there. It seems pretty, you know, it's like spongy. Basic. has these little chocolate swirls on it. Yeah, makes total sense. You know? You know? This is not that bad. I think this might be my favorite. This unexpectedly might come up as my favorite dessert. I like a cake. I like a good cake. I like a dumper. I love a dumper. Uh, no, but this is really good. This is actually dope. Okay. Wow. Ukraine has won me over. Um, I like four out of the five things on my plate, or these snacks. Um, this guy, clearly, judging by, uh, how it's left on the plate, not a big fan. Not a big fan. So the cake, I'll give you guys a taste, um, describe it. Cake is pretty, it, it tastes almost like, um, like cake. Almost like cinnamon, there's like a cinnamony thing going on. Not super dense. Um, but the cream. The cream isn't that sweet either. So I think that's why I like it. It's like, it's a very, it's almost like a tea cake. Like, I can easily imagine myself drinking this, or eating this with, like, an espresso, or, like, a morning coffee. Honestly, coffee black, because adding sugar to coffee, you're just ruining it. FYI. Um, yeah. Wow. I only didn't like one thing. Oh, what a funk. That was dope. Okay, now for some... Did I do it? It's like gushy. Oh, there's something inside. It's like something inside. I'm not sure what. Okay. Now I'm curious. It's a fruit jelly. Um, Ukrainian fruit jelly is very, very tasty. Enough to save the city, in fact. Okay, interesting. 
Okay. According to legend, um, the city of Kievsky was under siege in the 10th century when an old prophet advised citizens to pick two fake wells. The first filled with mead and the second filled with kissel or Ukrainian berry jelly. When the invaders arrived, they tasted the food and drink that seemingly came from earth, the earth itself and were so impressed, they left the city unharmed. Oh, wow. Oh, too bad the city was destroyed during an invasion a few years later. So we just fucking bad. Whoever fucking wrote that. Seriously? Ew! Oh! It was literally like popping a pen. And I know this is like, I mean, it's just chatting. It's not on food. But opening this was literally pop, like popping a pen. <laughs> okay, I'm still going to. Oh, it tastes of jelly. Oh, weird. Like, it doesn't move. Hmm. Huh. Nothing really good. It's all right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is my conclusion. Rosen is a brand. They make like desserts. They make like a lot of desserts. This jelly candies are Roshan. Chocolate bar, Roshan. Um, the creamy cake yum yums. Also, Roshan. I have to look them up. That, mm, I didn't like. I didn't like it. It's toffee. I don't know if I can. I can't. Toffee, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. The jellies were fine. I'm not going to like go out of my way to buy them. They're okay for like a kid. It's like a kid's candy, you know? Nothing really to it. Now I'm gonna make a adult drink. <laughs> After all of this. Um, that was last week's scorecard, or last four scorecard. So what's the faves here? Let's polish off our palette with the yum yums of the week. Wasabi chips. Let's give a round of applause. Let's get some claps in the chat for wasabi chips. These are bangers. These guys taste so good. I want them all the time. They taste like Pringles. But this is genius. Does Pringles make wasabi chips? They really should. Too smart. This is big brain stuff. I, I gotta stop. Good. Room, room my appetite. I gotta, I'm gonna eat dinner. Okay. Then I'd probably say the garlic chips. Again, I'm a salty, or I'm a savory over sweet person. Um, but when I'm really hankering for, uh, like a good, uh, uh, when I'm hankering for a good old sweet dessert chocolate ooh, ooh, ooh. then yeah i'm gonna go all in however not if it's crumbly if it's crumbly wumbly count me out dude count me out garlic chips are just essentially bread <laughs> All I'm doing is eating bread and garlic. Um, I get the appeal. They're okay. Nothing really special. Um, but again, I totally get the appeal. Um, chocolate bar, the wafer bar, that was dope. And the the uh, cake, that sponge cake was actually pretty good too. I guess I would say my favorite yum. Hmm... My favorite, yeah. 
I think it would be the wasabi chips. They're just so very unexpected. I didn't know what to expect from them. Um, uh, the worst? Oh, hands down. Roshan. Milk chocolate creme brulee? Yuck. The weirdest yum? That jelly. That, that, okay. Now, for my next trick. Um, I'm gonna make a drink. That's where I'm at. Let me clear this. You guys can look at Hunter. How cute he is. Um, it's a little bit dark in here right now because the, uh, I need to replace some light bulbs. <laughs> I, re I realized today that, like, wow, it's really dark in the kitchen. Like, what is going on? And, um, yeah, I gotta... Gotta fix some things. Gotta do a little uh, maintenance work. Apartment. I don't clear everything, but I'll clear a lot of things. But yeah, definitely wasabi chips. Delicious. Probably not nutritious. Who cares? Who cares when you're eating snacks? Good. What's still? What's nutritious? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking whiskey tonight. Absolute angel. That's, that is, that is 100. That's 110. Absolute. He is such a good dog. I don't know what I can him. Um, but I, I'm glad he's in my. Eight. Oh. No, 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 no. And I guess I won't be having the old fashioned. 